I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. Today we are talking about the Colorado River. Wow, we have got some precipitation recently and we have more on the way, believe it or not. The models are definitely different. As we're looking out here at windy.com, we can see that 0.64 right here in the middle of Colorado, right smack dab in the middle, we're looking at 1.18 possibly coming in the next 10 days. We come up to Vail and you're talking about 0.36. We come down to Telluride, they're calling for 0.53. Now this is the European model. We come down to Cortez, they are talking about 0.26. We come up to Steamboat Springs, 0.29. Grand Junction, 0.4. Now, let's roll over to the GFS, and you can see it's different. They're calling for quite a bit more, so let's hope this comes to pass. 1.72, and is this new snow? Well, yes, it is. So we will be well over 100 if this comes to pass. Another 11 inches possibly coming, and that is fantastic news. It's like a penny bank, just accumulating more snow tell you right down here you're talking 11 aspen possibly six vel seven over here 11.4 steamboat springs not so much half inch of course grand junction maybe a trace or so down here at page nothing over here in junction utah you're talking about 0 0.1 new mexico 4.2 possibly over here and we will be watching this to see if this really comes to pass and if it does this will even be fantastic news we definitely will take it we go back to the rain accumulation and they're talking about another one inch. That will be good news. Now let's go and see what the snow amount is currently in the Colorado. We are looking at the snow pack and you can see that just here on May 4th we were at 87% and then we dropped way down it really got warm we were at 79% and then 87% of median and then it popped back up to 102 for a minute and median 91% and went back down to 104 median 91% and now we are currently at 96.6% and 110% of median so we are definitely moving in the right direction and this is fantastic news because generally this time of year most of the time it's on a downhill slide with the exception of 2019 where it popped back up just like it did here and then it just sharply declined and then we had a late bump in 2019 as well so something we need to be watching that happened on may 24th so who knows maybe it'll be a repeat hard to say that's the closest one that looks the rest of them just seem to go straight down once it gets going so we'll be seeing what ultimately happens this is where we're at now i'm not sure if this is completely up to date as this was they're saying may 11th but however there was a lot of rain slash snow yesterday over the last 72 hours in the colorado and i'm going to go look at that right now we will go to the rain accumulation map right now as we come in here you can see that there was quite a bit of rain over here like by blue mesa they're talking about one inches of precipitation we come down here 0 0.79 we come up here you're talking about 0 0.92 so this area was very soaked over the last 72 hours we go over the last 120 hours and there was even more precipitation even over here 1.23 inches check this out 2.06 you had a spot over here 2.14 so there was plenty of precipitation lately in the last little bit this over here is in the colorado river shed as well this here's your green river here's your colorado and a little bit even down here not a lot 0 0.4 there's that's not much but very happy with this precipitation 1.23 we'll go out to your lakes next we'll go out to lake mead and we will see what's going on there now as we roll out to lake pal you can see today we are currently looking at 3561.51 feet and that was saturday may 11 2024 at 7 p.m the level is 138.49 feet below full pool of 3,700. The changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.12 feet over the last 24 hours, so that's good news. The lake was also up over the last seven days, 1.14 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake was up 2.61 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake was up 3.09 feet. Over the last six months, the lake was down 10.87 feet. However, over the last year, the lake was up 27.59 feet. So basically over the course of a year you gain 27.59 feet and since the last update the inflows have risen from 
12,000 to 15,112 today, and the outflows are about the same at 10,151. We go to your three-year bar graph, your full pool level is 3,700. In 2022, we were looking at 3,523.25 feet. Last year, we were looking at 3,533.92 feet, and of course, today we're at 3,561.51 feet. Your inactive pool is 3,490. Dead pool was 3,370. Your record high was 3,708.34 feet, and your record low, 3,490.76 feet, and percentage of capacity is currently 32.46%. Let's go down to Lake Mead next and see what's going on there. As we roll out to Lake Mead, you can see that the current water level is 1,070.28 feet, and that was Saturday, May 11, 2024 at 7 p.m. The level is 149.32 feet below full pool of 1,000. 219.60 feet. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.31 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last 7 days, the lake is down 1.33 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 2.32 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 3.87 feet. Over the last 6 months, the lake is up 5.66 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 19.55 feet. Inflows are 10,771. Outflows are 20,591 CFS, cubic feet per second. And we go to your 3-year graph here. Full pool is 1,219.60 feet. In 2022, the level was 1,051.93 feet. 2023, the level was 1,051.29 feet. Today, we are looking at 1,070.28 feet. Inactive pool, 950. Dead pool, 895. Record low, 1,040.58. Record high, 1,225.85 feet in 1983. Percentage of capacity, we're looking at 35.73%. Still in the yellow, we will take that. And that is it for Lake Mead. And the water up, up above is going to be good. This is going to be really good for Lake Powell with the big surge and more precipitation possibly coming. That's really good news. We're going to stop at my final stop tonight, Lake Havasu. Hope all is well down there. Hope everybody's doing well. And we are there now. As we roll out to Lake Havasu, your current water level is 448.94 feet. And that was Saturday, May 11th, 2024. At 7 p.m., the level is 1.06 feet below full pool of 450. Changes since yesterday, the lake is down 0.03 feet. Changes over the last seven days, the lake is up 1.85 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 1.51 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 0.64 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 1.02 feet. Over the last year, the lake is up 0.59 feet. Inflows are currently 16,484. Outflows are 6,804. We go to your three your bar graph full pool levels 450 2022 448.12 feet 2023 we're looking at 448.35 feet and of course today we're at 448.94 feet inactive pool is 440 dead pool is 400 record high 451 record low 440 and your percentage of capacity is 94.51 percent thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video we will be back very soon and we will talk to you then god bless